What's going on, everybody? Gary B. Jr., your media consultant here. And today we're going to be talking about changing your background in free show. Now, the background in free show is very important for any presentation, right? Now, some of us may prefer for our background to be completely blank. And so if we want it to be blank, you can simply clear it out by selecting that and it goes completely blank. All right. Now, if you've added a background to your show, as soon as you click on any slide in your show, the background comes right back. So let's look at how we got this background here. If I were to go to one of my shows and I'm going to go to a song. And I don't I got oceans up there already. So let's do um, I don't have Alabaster Box. I'm going to drag this song in here and it's called Alabaster Box. It doesn't have any um, particular background tied to it. And this is how a lot of your particular songs are going to be when you first make them, especially. So if I go here, we'll see that's there. And if I go, I can see that this is a template, but I notice that some of these are kind of running over because there's quite a few lines or big lines in it. So if I go over here to my templates, I can see it's set to the big scripture. So I can right click and edit that template and I can go here and I can look and see auto size is not on. So I'm going to turn it on to say shrink to fit. And now when I go back to my show, everything is going to fit in there no matter what, no matter how much space or how, how much text is there. All right. But to the background. So I've got this here, this here. There's nothing there. My recommendation is to always have an empty slide like this and for you to be able to add in a background to that first empty slide to give uh, your musicians, um, your singers, whoever it is, an opportunity to uh, get started with the song without the lyrics showing up as they're waiting for um, that build up for, this, for, the, for their part to sing. So what I would do is go to my media bin at the bottom in the drawer or the media tab as I like to call it. And then in here, you're gonna have a lot of options. So you, if you're on the internet, you can go to the online options and select the options for Pixabay or Unsplash, and you'll see a lot of different options for you to do a background search. Okay, so I don't know. Let's see if we do a search for motion, what'll come up. So you can see something like this, but these are not videos. These are just images, all right? Um, and this song is... Uh, let's see here. This is Alabaster Box. So let's do that there's an Alabaster Box. So there's that. And what I might do is I might type in something like a perfume box or something like that. Let me see if they got something like that. But you can do a search for any type of um, image that you want. And I'm looking at these and I don't see anything I like. I'll do jewelry. And let's see here. These are some examples of ways you can do a search. Um, let's do decorative box. All right. And you get a whole bunch of these. This is like a book name box, I guess. Uh, let's see here. Let's see what Pixabay does. If we do a search for decorative box, they give you some Christmas style boxes. Okay. I like this one here. And so this is kind of what I was going for. So if I select this, as a matter of fact, I'm not even going to select it. I'm just going to drag it up to here and it goes in there and now we've got this box this there and so now when we play this it's going to show up like that but it's kind of hard to read so i would probably change my template to where it's got a background see this little translucent background i would do something like that and um i think i made this on my own the quick way to make them is to right click and duplicate and then you can adjust it. And all I did was I added a transparency. So I'm gonna to go to edit real quick and I can show you. All I did is I went to the, I selected the text box and then I went to the item and you can select the background and the background color is actually, no, that's not it. Let's see here. 
it's showing like there's no background, but it's set to black, I think. So it's, yeah, the opacity is, um, here we go, it's black here. I'm, I'm looking up at that X and it threw me off, but that blue box there shows I've got black and I've got the opacity at 30. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I like the 30% opacity because it looks perfect for what I need. And so I'm going to go ahead and select that as my template. And now you can see the words a little bit easier. And if you want, you can make the box. You can edit your image a little bit more if you wanted to. So if we go back to media and we do a search here and what do we type in? Uh, decorative box. Uh, maybe we typed in jewelry. All right, let's see here. So here we go. So I can right click on this and I can actually edit this online image. And so the best way to edit your backgrounds is to go over to filters after you select edit and then you can just adjust. So the contrast is one that makes those darks and lights really sharp. So you can turn that down and it'll kind of make it kind of washed out a little bit, which is a cool effect. And then the opacity, we can turn that down to where it's just darker, where it's basically see-through with a black background. It just kind of looks darker. Uh, you can even blur it out a little bit. So you can select this and bring it to where it's just a little blurry. All right, so now we've got our same box, but it's got enough filter on it that makes it look a little bit easier on the eye for people to see through it, all right? Or see it with text in front of it, I should say. So let me go back to my jewelry box. I gotta find where I left it. Let's see here, where'd it go? Okay. So if we scroll through, because wherever, whatever you just edited, it, you've got to drag that back on and I just can't find it. So let me see here. If I go here, I don't want that. I think it just brought up the first box there. We don't need that. Let's go back to Alabaster box. And Oh, it's right here. I just overlooked it. So it's quite a bit blurrier than it was. So I'm going to drag this on here to the first slide. And it didn't update. Let me see what we got going on here. If I edit it, go to filters. Let's turn our contrast back down. Our opacity, let's turn that down. And let's go back. And I think it updated. If I drag that on there, let's see. Yeah, so it looks darker. And I think I'll add a little blur to it. Let me right click on it again. Let's edit again. And let's do filter. And let's do a little bit of blur. So that four is pretty decent. And you'll see it there. So it automatically updates. And so now the words are very easy to read. We've got this um, somewhat of a, 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 a box back there. And I've got it back here behind me as well. And it's just on a blank screen there. And it looks perfectly fine. All right. So I can go through uh, my lyrics and you can see that really easily. All right. So that is adding a background. You can drag it on to your very first slide. And you can make it be a blank slide so that you can have that build up time for the musicians to allow uh, for the song to get started. And then the singers uh, can start singing. Another option is to just have a motion background that you may have downloaded from a place like Canva uh, or um, there is a place, a website called Story Loops. I made a video about that. You can check that one out as well. But with that, you can go in and save those to your computer. So you download those to your computer and then you just add the folder that you saved them to down here. And for me, I've got a bunch of uh, motion graphics in my Yolo box and I can do a clear search because it's looking for jewelry box. I don't have anything in there for jewelry box because we did a search for it. Right. So I can clear that out. And now it brings me all of my backdrops. And I've got video backdrops and I actually have a 
toolkit for video backdrops. If you are looking for video backdrops that work for you, you may like these. And if so, you can get those off of my website at GaryBJr.com. But let's say you want to use these uh, blue bubbles, right? Same idea. You just drag them up. And now everything turned with the same background and it didn't change in the audience view or the, the output until you select another slide and then you'll see that change there. All right. And so now behind me, you'll see that that background changed and that's just my output here. All right. And so to add or to change your backgrounds, it's that simple. Now, someone asked about how to change the backgrounds for your scriptures. All right. So the idea with scriptures is when you click select a scripture, it automatically keeps the background that was already there if your template doesn't have a background tied to it. All right. So a quick way to fix that is you can add a background to your template, which is an option. Personally, I don't recommend that. I would still recommend that you keep your backgrounds consistent from whatever was there and just put it in there from the scripture or select the scriptures you want, right? So let's say we wanted to select all of these. I would right click on this and convert these scriptures to a show. So I convert this whole chapter to a show and I put one verse per slide and I split the reference. This makes sure that each slide is going to have its own reference of the scripture that it is. All right. And then I don't turn on the reference on the first slide. You have the freedom and flexibility to do that. I just never do. And then we select convert to show. And so now we've got the same thing we had earlier when we had the song where we got this show and I can go to my media and I can select a different backdrop. So um, let's do this one here. And I can drag that on. Now notice I didn't have a blank slide. I didn't make a blank slide at the very beginning because for scriptures, you don't really need that. There's no build up to it. But I've got the scripture there and I've got the reference down at the bottom there. Okay. And that is how you would do that. All right. If I go to scripture here, the English majorities text. I've never even heard of that. That's pretty cool. English majority text version. Okay. Very cool. Now, adding to adding backgrounds can be as simple as dragging them onto a slide. We've seen that a couple of times. But you can also, let's say we didn't have a background here. So I can take that out. No background. But look, the background is still there. This is another option. So if you don't have it in a show, but you want to change the background, you can go to your media bin or tab and go to a background that you like. Uh, so let's go here. And let's say I wanted it to be brown. All I do is simply click. This is an image. And all of a sudden now, the background is brown. All right. So. Free show gives you a lot of flexibility when it comes to your backgrounds. It's important to understand how they all work. When you have a slideshow that doesn't have any backgrounds, you can just simply select a background that you like. So if I want it to be blue, my backgrounds change to blue. OK, and now every time I go to a new scripture, go to a, a new scripture on the slide um, that doesn't have or slideshow that doesn't have a background, this blue is going to stay there. So if I go down to my scriptures and I go to a different Bible, let's say I want to go to the New Living. We can go to Acts chapter one, verse eight. All right. I can double click that and notice the background still remained blue. All right. So the background that you select, if you don't have any backgrounds in your template, it will remain in the output until you go to a slideshow or show, I should say that has a background tied to it. So let's say um, we go to, I'm going to find a actual song that has a background. Okay, so this is Oceans. It has a background to it. It's got a little watery background, okay? So if I go to this show, I'm gonna just go to this one here. The very first lyrics, check out what happens. The background changes, all right? Because this show has its own background tied to it. It locks in and it automatically comes with that show. But if you have a show that's completely blank in the background and there's no background tied to it, your output window will not change the background. It'll just stay there to whatever you had before. All right. Hopefully that makes sense as to how to change backgrounds in free show. Until next time. Thank you for watching this video. I really hope it helped you in a major way. Now, at this point, most people would ask you to like and subscribe. And I think that's great. But my goal is a little bit different. My goal is to empower as many people as possible all over the globe. And there's one way that you can really help me do that. 
and that is to leave a comment below with a question, a thought, uh, how this video may have helped you, or things that were left out that you still have questions about, and to share this video with someone just like you, someone who is looking for answers, someone who's curious and wants to grow. With your help, I believe we can build a community of people that wanna to grow together. So until next time, God bless.